That lil' young ain't up to something, he gon' roll when it's right Ain't no question, they gon' make him take a soul in the night Once he ran from automatics, he done Yo, 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 what's good, fam? What's that word, man? Hey, what's the word, baby? What's the word? So, bro, for now, people that's watching this interview right now, and they may be unfamiliar with you, who I got in front of the camera. Money Man Rado, man, it's self. Oh, for sure, for sure, for sure. Now, uh, where are you originally from, bro? I'm from South Dallas. Hunter, Turner Court Projects to be exact. For sure. Now, growing up in South Dallas, in that certain area, what was it like for you? I mean, man, it's, uh, it was out normal. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, it was rough. It was really the trenches. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that's that's the one reason I wanted to make it up out of there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got sure. tired of living like that. For sure. Now, like, if you can kind of, like, explain or describe your day-to-days as a child growing up out there, how would you describe it? Man, I mean, I grew up playing sports, you know what I'm saying, uh, with the Boys and Girls Club. And, you know, outside of that, then once, you know, once that's finished, the reality part kicked back in for it. So, I mean... It was hard, man, you know what I'm saying, fighting all the time, you know what I'm saying, breaking in people's houses, like, you know, you. I mean, we had to get it, you know what I'm saying, as a young age, you know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. Yeah. Now, uh, so when you playing sports, when would you say that ended or when did you stop playing? Man, I played sports all the way up, really, until I went to the prison when I was, like, turning 18. Damn. Yeah. Okay, okay, we're going to get there for sure. We're going to get there. We're going to get there as well. Now, uh, I do want to talk about this. You, I know you did boxing. How old were you when you were boxing? Man, I started out at 12. Damn. You know, I worked all the way up, went from the silver gloves to the golden gloves. And uh, my granny put me inside of her, you know what I'm saying? She didn't want me to be fighting in the neighborhood. So she wanted to do it that way. I didn't want to do it at first, and then I just took a liking to it. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I stayed focused with it. I was actually pretty good, man. Damn, you know so how long were you trained up from 12 until when? Till man, I'm I like till I went to prison. Okay. Till I was about 18. Damn, okay. Now, uh, going to Golden Gloves twice, you know what I'm saying? Most boxers really don't make it that far, you know what I'm saying? How was that experience for you? Like, man, what did you take out of that? It was good. I won once and lost once. Mm-hmm. I actually lost to, in the Golden Gloves one time to a person that I beat in the Silver Gloves. Damn. That's crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is the time we was, uh, when we had it inside the behind the cotton bowl, where that rodeo thing used to be, we, that's where we used to box it up in there, like for us, you know, when it's showtime for the you know, the fights. That's hard, damn, that's hard, yeah. bro. Now, uh, when you began boxing on that level, uh, were you still fighting in the streets or? Yeah, I actually, well, I wouldn't, I really wasn't just fighting like that, like, cause they already knew I had some, so it wasn't no like no nigga picking at me. Right. It's always a. Uh, I had to go get at a nigga for one of my partners or something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, they fucking with my partner. You know how this shit goes. Yeah. No, nah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Damn, so, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, as you, you know what I'm saying, you playing sports, you still, as, as a child from 12 to, let's go around 17 years old, what were some of the changes you started to see, like, in your lifestyle? Me and, like, uh, people switching on me. And, uh... And I started getting more, it started like making me more aggressive because I feel like, damn, ain't nobody, you know, fuck with. When you're a bad actor, you don't get much love, bro. Yeah. You feel me? Like everybody started like dissing themselves. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? It, it came like a little switch up for me. So, I mean, that probably was one of the reasons what led me to prison because I started getting more, more deadly and dangerous around that. In 17, 18, I went. Damn. You okay. get what I'm saying? So it's the build up. You know what I'm saying? Like, as far as people dissing themselves, oh, he yeah, always getting in trouble. Y'all better not catch y'all hanging with him. Or oh, woo do woo woo I'm to the point, bro, where they were hanging with me, they mamas used to get put out. Damn. Like, if they find out that they hanging with me, they'll put the uh, Mr. Singletary, uh, you know what I'm saying, to put their mamas out, bro, Damn. because they used to hang with me. Real talk. Damn. I mean, okay, so not to go into too many details, but, like, when do you feel like, the streets actually started taking effect on you. Like, how old were you when you started seeing street shit and started being like, all right, I want to be part of this. At 14? 14. I had a lick, man, 14, probably like $47,000. Damn. I ran to my aunt's house. She said, boy, my aunt Big Bird, man. Shout out Big Bird. She like, hey, you sure ain't nobody following you, Rado? i like, no, nah, I don't think nobody following me. You know what I'm saying? i like, her account all this. She said, Nephew, this is like $47,000. At 14, you hit 14 years old. And I went about a cutlass, 85 cutlass from my partner, Money Mike, man. You know what I'm saying? 
and I was going to Lincoln High School. I'm the only nigga that was at the school with rims, man. You know, with a whip at 14. That's crazy. Damn. Okay. Okay. So 14. Uh, is that when things started to kind of get when you you know what I'm saying you we walk, walking around with forty seven thousand dollars cash at fourteen you got to start feeling yourself and you know what I'm saying think you it, big shit. It, I'm gonna say it's different back then than now. See, back then too many people didn't have no money, mm-hmm. so it, it 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 wasn't it wasn't like it wasn't like a competition thing. Or, you know what I'm saying? It was more like hurricane for you good or. Hey, who are you good? Hey, get us the AT. Like, it was like that. Like, it wasn't like I was big headed. Right. Like, now, with the money, it's different. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you grabbing your nuts to your chest. Nigga, yeah. nigga, fuck them, nigga. Woo, 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 nigga, I'm, I'm him. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it was different back then.